All right, guys, welcome back to episode two of our Ottawa Senators franchise mode. Today, we are going to complete the season sim, and that will lead us into the playoffs next episode. So if you guys remember from last episode, we were looking at our lines, and I said we needed to make some moves to make this team better for the playoffs, and I kind of don't want to wait for the trade deadline. So as you can see, we got actually two defensemen playing on our fourth line here, and uh, we could absolutely upgrade maybe our left or right side here. Um, so I have a couple ideas. I have one idea that I am sold on and I'm hoping that the trade does go through because uh, I was looking at who was available, just what we can kind of do um, in terms of adding people. And uh, I found a trade that I liked with the National Predators that um, meets all our needs in one single trade here. Okay, so we are looking for a left and right winger who will be Tanner Pearson for the experience. We are going to get a right winger in McCarran. And we are going to get a defenseman in. If I can find him, that'd be a lovely. I'm not too sure where he is. Uh, Carrier. All right. And uh, so we're getting these three guys. Three years for Carrier at 3.75 mil isn't great. But it's a contract that we can always, uh, you know offload in the off season there's a couple contracts that i've already been looking at that i want to offload in the off season um so now you're probably wondering what are we sending back the other way so we are sending back to nordy um uh, mantin paulo and i believe it was davies along with a six round pick from this year which is not a big deal and we need the predators to retain some salary here i was looking at about 35 percent, just so we have some flexibility in cap space but this is the trade I'm looking at. The, the um, value looks pretty even for both sides. So let's see if this trade goes through. Trade rejected. So the National Predators are totally unwilling to part ways with what you've requested from us. So unless you were giving us something spectacular, don't waste our time. So to be fair, I think it's the, re the retaining of the salary that they don't like. Because they're going to be retaining that for another two seasons after this year. So maybe we got to move up. And give them a third for this year. I don't really want to depart with a second or a first. Especially not for a trade like this. And even a third is kind of an overpay. But I'm sure Florida is doing well this season. I'm not too worried about that draft pick. And that is still rejected. Okay, interesting. So what if we do a third from this year? Um, and maybe a six from next year from Colorado. Let's be honest. Colorado should be good. So Tenority, Manton, Paulo, Davies, Florida's third, and Colorado's sixth for next year for Pearson, McCarran, and Carrier retained uh, 1.3 million on that contract, and it's still rejected. Okay, so the Nashville Predators do not like it, even though it is pretty fair in value, and we need them to retain that much because Ottawa is like pretty hard up against the cap right now, which is kind of tough i'm not too sure i don't really want to give up more than a third i'm not giving up a second for this so we might have to go elsewhere honestly the other trade i was looking uh at was with the columbus blue jackets act uh actually not the color avalanche the, these menus aren't too great but we were looking at jvr what is happening here we're on columbus we're looking at jvr I believe he's a left winger right we were looking at uh oh my god these menus okay we were looking at Fix Wolkowski, 80 overall, top nine forward. He's only 25, and he's only making league min, so we were liking that. And then we were looking at JVR for one mil. He'd be a good fourth line addition. Now, with that being said, if we don't really, ha we have to get rid of two guys. So, um, I was good with getting rid of all three of those guys, really. Um, so let me try to find them here. These menus are all over the place a little bit here. But that's okay. So we were looking at Manti Paolo and Jacob Tenorti. I'm fine with getting rid of both of those guys. I don't think that gets a, uh, an accepted offer just with those two guys. I think we're actually going to have to throw in a third for this. Um, and maybe even more, to be honest. We're, we're, we're going to start with this and see what the Columbus Blue Jackets think. So Manti Paolo, Jacob Tenorti, and, uh, and Florida's third round pick of this year for JVR and Fix Wol and Wol Wolanski. Will that go through? Trade rejected. Okay, so maybe we do a third and we do Colorado six. We were willing to give this up in the other deal. We're getting a better fourth liner in JVR. Let's see if that goes through. Still rejected. Okay, so we've met the block, but the value on the table is too far. Okay, so to give up two thirds for this, I don't know how I feel. Like, are we really going to try to win the cup? Not necessarily. Uh, I don't want to dip into... 
I mean, we could do a 2027 third round pick. And then when we offload contracts in the offseason, we could always get that third round pick back. All right. So let's just remember that. We got a Florida third, Jacob Tenority, and Manting Paulo for JVR and TFW. That's his new name. All right. Will that go through? Still rejected. Oh, okay. You know what? Not worth it. We're going to move on here. The next suitors I was looking at were the Anaheim Ducks. I can't believe it's this hard to trade for a fourth line player, man. All right. So we were looking at, I believe it was Harkins. It was Harkins and it was Coangelo. And Coangelo, you know, he's coming off his rookie deal here. Should be a little decent player. He's 23 years old, only a 79 overall or a 78, whatever it was. But yeah. Okay, so we got these two. I think if I throw in maybe a six or a third, this is game over. Obviously, we'll start with a six-round pick and see if that goes through. So Tenority, Manton Paulo, Ottawa six from this year for Josh Harkins and Cole Angelo. Trade rejected. Oh, this is going to be hard here. All right, I don't know if we're going to be able to pull off something here. Okay, let's try doing this. We'll throw a third in. I still don't think this goes through. Trade rejected. Now, you know what? Cole Angelo is a young guy. I'm willing to throw in two, two thirds here if I have to. We'll try a third and a six, see if that goes through. If not, it will do two thirds like we were willing to. And that goes through. Okay, so that took us a little bit there, but we ended up doing it. Anaheim was happy to make the deal with us. And uh, I don't know. I, I think it makes our team better for sure. Did we give up a little bit too much? Yes, but it's okay. So we got Stutzla. Okay, so I'm good with that first line. I'm good there. Coangelo, I'm good with on the third line. Greg's there. Okay, that's good. And honestly, defensively, we'll wait for defense come the deadline. But now let's Travis Hamannick's back there. I really don't mind what the team's looking like. So honestly, I think it was a good trade from GM uh, Leifer here. And uh, we're going to get on to simulating the rest of the season. We'll go a couple months at a time just to keep up with stats and everything like that. Uh, but yeah. All right, let's get Sim in here. Like I said, we'll probably, you know what, let's just do a month at a time. That's the way I like to do it. Just to keep an eye on everything and make sure everyone's all good and, and everything like that. So let's see if we can continue winning. We made an upgrade to our fourth line and our third pair essentially from that trade. So uh, honestly, hopefully it's going to be, it's going to work out in our favor. And it looks like so far we're about even with wins and losses, which isn't great. We're on a three game losing streak, which we'd like to break against Boston. Don't get any points against a division rival. We are on a huge losing streak here. Absolutely huge. And this might throw away a season like this. Okay, slow it down here. Please, please, please. We are on a, what, four, five, six, seven, eight game win streak. Or losing streak. I wish it was a win streak. Okay, I'm not, what the hell happened here, okay? We are now down to fifth in our division. It's just, it's something as quick as that that can screw our season. And it's actually insane that these, this team is doing this to us. Okay. Um, wow. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Let, let's spread out the wealth here a little bit. Also, Giroux not being on the draws, I feel like is dumb, right? What's his face off rating at here? 89 compared to Josh Norris's what? 80. Like, please let me put Giroux here. Josh Norris can go there. Can, do I have another center that can play the wing maybe? I mean, Nick Cousins can. I don't know how I feel about Josh Norris. Okay. Let, oh, man. Okay, let's just spread it out. Something's got to change. Uh, a nine-game losing streak is just not what we wanted to see with this team. I, I'm actually a little disgusted. And in Senator's fashion, I hate to say that as the GM, it's just the way it's going right now. I'm not a huge fan of it here, okay? So, and we're continuing to lose here. This is actually insane. Oh my god. All right, 7-3 win there to hopefully turn around the tide here. We're on a two-game win streak, and then we lose 8-2, to two, and now we're on another two-game losing streak. Oh, this Ottawa Senators team is just maybe not built correctly, and I might have to dismantle a good chunk of this team come the offseason because this is a little bit embarrassing. I don't know what happened. I thought the trade would have made us better, and clearly I uh, it just didn't go well. Natural Predators have fired their coach. So you get for not trading with GM Leafer. I'm kidding. But anyways, yeah, not a great two months there. We got the trade deadline coming up. And honestly, I'm pretty complacent. I don't really want to invest in this team. I don't want to give away draft capital if this is the way this team's going to perform. We are in fifth. We're not by any means out of it. We're four points behind the Red Wings. Uh, six behind the Bruins, seven behind the Leafs, and eight behind the Panthers. So we're definitely still in the race. 
I just don't think I'm going to make any huge blockbuster. We don't really have the cap to. We don't have the contract slots to either. We're going to keep it that way. And now looking at our team here, Kachuk's leading in points. Uh, Shabbat's leading in defensive points. Goals is Brady Kachuk. Assists is Tim Stutzla. Uh, rookie points is now Coangelo. And Linus Allmark is with, has 26 uh, wins. Are we in any of these league leader categories? Just Linus Allmark. All right. So... Like I said, realistically, we're just going to go to the deadline, see what kind of trades are going to be made. But uh, as the Senators, I really don't think we're going to be getting anything. We'll conservatively buy is what I'll put down our option as, but I'm not going to invest in this team when it just didn't look too hopeful there, right? So, that is the trade deadline here. And um, like I said, we're going to be a conservative buyer right here all right we're not buying we'll just be a conservative buyer we'll head into the trade deadline we'll see what's available if something makes sense then we'll go for it but like i said we don't really have the cap we don't really have the contract slots and i don't know if i really want to give up draft capital given you know given that i am not really confident in this team right now but i should be it's a good team on paper so maybe we go out and we we see if we can get maybe a defenseman uh for the third pairing it's not like we're giving up a lot of goals either like i'm kind of good with the team like i said there's not really much i can do to help this team out so really i'll just get back to you with trade alerts and we have a trade alert here that isn't ryan o'reilly's headed to dallas with dante fabro in a fourth and keith bellows okay what a trade dallas stocking up trade alert utah's making a trade here they're trading a second two seconds and lavoie to the to the Vegas Golden Knights in exchange for Barbashev. Okay, interesting trades here. Utah loading up with Barbashev there. Another trade alert here coming out of Winnipeg. They're trading a prospect and a third to Detroit in exchange for Jeff Petrie, Oli Mata, and Snively. All right, all right. Decent little trade there, can't lie. Another trade coming out of Minnesota. Jacob Middleton and Masters are going to Detroit in exchange for a third, a fourth, and Tyler Mott. So Detroit making another move this deadline. Acquiring some talent this time though. Trade alert coming out of Philadelphia here. They're trading their second, two seconds to Detroit in exchange for JT Comfer and Cam Talbot. So it looks like Detroit is offloaded more than anything here. That's their third trade on this deadline. Oh my God, Detroit. Stevie Y selling the barn. Boston is making their first move. They're trading away their first, two first and brunette to the Vegas Golden Knights in exchange for William Carlson, Nicholas Roy, and D. Mayo. Okay, Boston loading up their team. They're going for another cup run. Big shocker there. Chicago's making a move. They're getting rid of their second and fourth. And Utah's giving them Barbashev, which they just acquired today. So Barbashev getting traded twice out of Vegas, and he's all the way in Chicago now. Okay, interesting trade there. Vegas is making another move. They are trading Braden McNabb and Brett Howden to the Edmonton Oilers in exchange for Adam Henrique and E. Vinny. Some what an interesting trade deadline day. And my might I add, it's only 7:40 in the morning here. The reigning Stanley Cup champions have made a move. They're getting rid of their first and Jansen to Seattle in exchange for Adam Larson. So Florida bringing in a big defenseman for them for their cup run to try to run it back. The trade deadline has come and gone, and the Leafs have put Anthony Stolarz on waivers. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. We have Linus Allmark. He would be a good backup for Linus Allmark. He's not having a great year, though. 887, you know what? Uh, you can go ahead and head down to the minors there, all right? So trade deadline has come and gone. Now it's time for the final stretch to see if your Ottawa Senators can push for a playoff spot and make the playoffs for the first time in a hot minute here, all right? So let's see what we can do here. Let's gather some wins. Let's fight for a playoff spot. The Atlantic is going to be tight. That's a huge two points against the uh, Bruins. We lose to the Leafs, so that is not ideal. Let's get some points against the Canadiens. We lose to them. It's not good dropping divisional points, man. We need to be winning games like that. It's just plain and simple. Losing 4-3 to the Devils there, not great. 5-2 loss to the Sabres. Oh, boy. I don't think we are making the playoffs here. We're going to stop the Sim here before the final last stretch of games here. We are 38-30-5. Almost a 40-win season upon us under our belt. We are in fifth place. Seven points behind the Bruins. We need an absolute miracle here. We need to go on an absolute Cinderella run 
in our last what like 10 games if we're lucky if we have that so let's see what the senators can do here we need a big win streak here can we get one against the sabers we lose to them so that's not ideal we need a point against the lightning we get them let's win against florida that would be an absolutely huge win for us for one loss a nice seven three win against the jackets though another win against the jackets okay uh, we're gonna pause it we're gonna stop it after the montreal game here and we we win four to two so where are we sitting right here with our last couple of games do we have a chance that's all we want to know we are four points behind the maple leafs it's possible it is possible with uh how many games left three games left so we need to win out essentially and we need the leafs to lose out okay so let's take it a game at a time here are we gonna get a win against the flyers we do it's a four to one win okay did the leafs win or lose the leafs won so we are three points behind the leafs here we need we need we need to win out we just need to win out we're gonna slow sim this to see if we can make the playoffs here first period against chicago two to one brady kachuk scored for us in claude Giroux. second period four to one and third period five to one that's a huge two points against the blackhawks and i think it's gonna come down to our final game depending on if the leafs won or lost their game there they have one more game as well we need to see if they won or lost all right so it's all up to this game i believe because if we win and the leafs lose i believe we sneak in on a wild card spot okay so we're playing a tough team in the Carolina Hurricanes. The Senators need everything in them to win here, right? First period, 1-1. One one. Jack Roslovich scored their goal. Timmy Stutzla for us. Need a big second period from the Senators here. It is 2-1. Timmy Stutzla with his second. He wants to make the playoffs so bad. We're going to 8 times sim. Josh Harkins, the acquisition GM Leafer made. Mid-season scores for us. It's 3-2, to two though. Eric Robinson makes it a one-goal game. Come on, Ottawa. Let's close this out. Anton Forsberg starting our last game is crazy, by the way. Don't know why it isn't all mark. And we're not able to kill it off. Shane Gossiber ties it up. Can we kill this off? We do. We're heading to overtime. And we desperately need these two points here. Oh, baby. Come on, Ottawa. Get us these two points. We need it. We, we need the two points. It can't be one. I'm sorry. We're heading to a shootout. What is going to happen? And Ottawa wins it in a shootout. Big two points. Now we got to see what our counterparts in the Battle of Ontario and the Leafs won. So I think they make it. They make it over us. They probably had a better goal differential than us. Oh, that is heartbreaking for your Ottawa Senators. We were right there, guys. We were right there. They come out on top because they have one more regulation win. We have two more OT losses. Oh, that is so tough. And that is heartbreaking for the Ottawa Senators. We we're not able to make it in our first year, which we might have to get rid of our coach in the offseason. We might have to make some big moves in the offseason. Ah, season one was a failure for GM Leafer. Unfortunate.